Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Thanks again for all the great Schwinn IC4 questions. That's why I'm here, man. Try to answer them when I can. I'll post a follow-up video. I know that Kathleen and a few other people asked, you know, hey, how do I adjust the seat and the handlebars? So I'm going to show you that. So first of all, there's multiple knobs. Now, the handlebars, the height adjustment is right here. Now keep in mind, you've got to loosen it and then you can pull out. See, that pulls out. And that's probably something that y'all are uh, forgetting to do. And then, you know, you can loosen that. Then you can get the desired height here. And then you can, you know, turn it the other way to tighten it back. Now, there's another area of adjustment for the handlebars. And that's the distance between the seat or the saddle. If you're a cycling nerd, they call it a saddle instead of a seat and the handlebars. So there's two points. Well, actually, there's several points of adjustment. So to get to decrease the distance between the seat and the handlebars, there's two things you could do. You can use the knob on the seat. And again, like the other knobs, you got to loosen it, and then you'll be able to slide forward or backwards. See, and mine's pretty far forward. I got a little bit of extra room if I wanted to go forward. And then likewise, on the handlebar end, there's another knob here, and see you could you could uh, well mine for example I could bring the handlebars closer towards me so further away from the seat. So you you've got that point of adjustment. So if you wanted to minimize the distance between the handlebars and the seat, what you would do is slide the seat all the way forward, and then you would slide the handlebars all the way back. Now there's another adjustment that's not the distance between the handlebars and the seat, but it's the height of the seat. And the seat's height adjustment, it's this little knob right here. And you can see there's those little places, so you can, you can loosen it, pull it out, get the desired height, and you can adjust your seat heightness. So again, to recap, you've got several points of adjustment. You've got the seat height, you've got the handlebar height, then, and, and again, the handlebar height knob is this knob here. Then you've got the distance between the seat and the handlebars. So that's this knob here on the handlebar end and this knob here on the seat end. So I hope this video helped. If it did, be sure to like this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. If it really made you feel good, send me a super thanks. Not required, but if you want to send me a super thanks, you can look down below this video, and there's a button there that says thanks. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you're shopping for the Schwinn IC4, the mat, the shoes, and other accessories like I use, expand this video's description, and then click the link there, and you can find where to order it all online. Great questions. I hope this helped. If you got more questions, ask away, because I'm trying to film as many IC4 videos as I can. If I if I know how to do something, man, there's no reason to not tell y'all, especially if y'all are asking and, and, and people want to super chat. That makes it even better. I appreciate it, and y'all have a good day, and best of luck with your fitness goals. Hey, y'all. Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel, and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.